Hey guys, Karen from Curl House, and today we are going to talk about gray hair again. So gray hair, you can see I have a lot of it. It is going gray, and gray hair takes work to maintain, but it does not have to be hard work if you know why your hair is going gray and how to take care of it. So let's first talk about why you're going gray in the first place. So your hair follicle has melanocytes, that's melanin and cytes, cells that hover around that hair follicle. And as you age, as age is the number one factor in going gray, as you age, those melanocytes start to die off. So they start to decrease, thus decreasing the production of melanin and you go gray. Melanin is not only responsible for the color of your hair, but it's also responsible for the structure of your hair. So how your hair feels, how it looks, how it's shaped. Melanin plays a very, very important role in that. So when you're losing that melanin, guess what happens? Your hair starts to feel differently, right? Your texture may start to change. I know my texture is not the same it used to be. The texture change, you may lose the curl or your hair could feel super, super wiry. That is all gray hair. Now, the second thing that happens, your sebaceous gland will start to decrease the production of sebum. Sebum is produced by the sebaceous glands to keep our, our hair and our scalp lubricated, right? We all know with natural hair, natural hair, because our hair is curly, then the sebum our scalp produces can't travel down our curved hair follicle, which makes our hair dry anyway. So with gray hair, and you're not producing as much sebum with gray hair, then what do you think happens? Your hair is super dry. So natural hair is dry, coupled with gray natural hair, it is super dry. So now you know why your gray hair is so dry. Now, I'm gonna give you three tips that will help you to better care for your gray hair. Tip number one, moisturize daily. So when I say moisturize daily, I mean with a product that contains water water as the first ingredient. Now, in addition to water, it needs additional humectants such as glycerin, um, aloe vera, honey, for example. These are humectants, so they are ingredients that help your hair to absorb and retain moisture. So if you are moisturizing daily, you are giving your hair what it needs because I already told you that it's not, it's not producing the same amount of sebum. So you're going to have to give it more moisture. Now, the second thing that I recommend that you do to care for your gray hair is to style it less. Yes, that's what I said, less styling. So you know that your natural gray hair is dry, drier. Dry hair is more susceptible to breaking. Natural curly hair is very, very fragile anyway. So if you are constantly styling and restyling and twisting and retwisting and manipulating your hair every single day, it is more prone to break off. So less styling is going to be important here. Also, if you are putting more moisturizer in your hair, guess what you're putting less of? Less styling product, yes. So moisture, moisture, moisture is key. If you're putting more moisturizer, then you should be putting less styling products. So you wanna flip it around. With our, with our non-gray hair, typically we put more styling product, right? But a lot of times styling products have ingredients in them, uh, particularly styling gels, for example, that are film formers. So they help your hair to really clump together to give you that fabulous look but it coats the hair and sometimes it blocks out the moisture and we want the opposite for our gray hair. So it is very important if you're using a curling cream or a curling gel or a, any, style, any type of styling product, make sure you really, really coat your hair with more moisturizer. So moisture first. Remember that gray hair beauties, moisture first more moisturizer, less styling products. I promise you it's gonna make a difference in how your gray hair feels 
and looks. The third thing that I recommend you do is to deep condition weekly. So if you're deep conditioning weekly, then guess what? You are washing your hair weekly. So absolutely increase the frequency at which you wash your hair. So I recommend about once a week and afterwards deep condition, deep condition. So take a plastic cap, put a pla put your conditioner in, put a plastic cap on, sit under a hooded dryer for at least 15 or 20 minutes. Or if you have a steamer, you can sit under a steamer, but you don't need a cap. I think this is the number one thing that women with gray hair do not do enough of. We do not do enough of deep conditioning. So as I've said earlier in this video, our gray natural hair is naturally drier than regular natural hair. Natural hair in general is very dry in general. So when you get in the habit of deep conditioning your hair weekly, you will be amazed at how your hair looks and feels. So I challenge you, Silver Foxes, deep condition your hair once a week. Or if you don't wash your hair every week, every two weeks, just get in the habit of doing it regularly. I will below, I will make sure that I include a list of some of my favorite deep conditioners and some of the products that I use on my hair and on my gray hair to keep it healthy and to keep it fabulous. And until we talk again, stay fabulous.